Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lanthia! Apparently I'm already having a hard time walking in a straight line. We're off to a great start this episode. But anyway, let's head on down here and continue through the old cave to find all this treasure here. Looking for that golden pond. Eh, 3 MP, whatever. And we got more rocks to deal with! You can try throwing rocks at the rocks, but uh, I don't think that would work too well. Maybe use your lightning on them, Lupia. Turn them into pop rocks. Nah, nah, just kidding. But uh, yeah, we do want to take them out. What did I just have Jaren cast? Oh, whatever. I went through that too quickly. Oh, well. 500 gold, awesome. And a float. Let's use it to make them all float. And over here, we find a hidden treasure. It's not a miracle, uh. Huh. Usually, if they're hidden in a swamp, it's a miracle. But, oh well. Anyway, okay, uh, power potion on uh, Lupia. I like to keep the HP levels about as even as possible. Except for a girl who will always have a lot of HP. Because later in the game, his HP will outweigh pretty much any magic defense he lacks. Well, we get quite a bit of boost of attack power. Nice. That's why I haven't been buying anything lately. Or weapons. We're going to find a lot of stuff in the near future, so... Uh, oops. Ow! Well, that's okay. Eh, I'm not going to be using high bombs or any we uh, battle weapons for that matter. Or battle items. But yeah, all those doors I'm not taking, they just loop around to other paths where I've already been. But anyway, over here, Miracles. Awesome. The Mighty Frost Ring for uh, Jaren there. So basically... With the Frost Ring, you want to hold on to that for later, because there will be times when it'll be really useful. So now, you pretty much just want to hold on to for extras. The Frost Ring, the Flame Ring for Jaren, and the Elven Bow, which can be very useful in the final battle. I'll explain why when we get there. Not for me, but if you didn't give her all those Speed Potions, you'll want to hold on to that for later. And over here, we get the Golden Pond, which I'll take back to the old cave shop then. Alright, we're back, so let's just... Deliver our treasure here. 3,000 gold. All right. How much do we have now? Ooh, we've got a pretty good amount going there. I'm trying to save up to about 100,000. Not for one piece of equipment, but there's a lot of stuff that I want to buy uh, in the future. So uh, well, we'll get to it soon enough. But now we're done here. Let's work back to Alfreya and head to Adele. we got to find that, uh, what was that guy's name? Shia? Something like that. We got to uh, uh, find him. And, uh, what, is, what is he going to do? Find a way to get us underwater, I guess. Magic or submarine or a floating barrel? I don't know. But anyway, this is where we got to go. Kind of like the dive magic in Final Fantasy Legend 3. That was cool. Let's head on over here first. Oh, I recognize this place. If it is what I think it is. Haha! -ha! Yes, it is! Now we can use this shrine to go all over the world. I wish they kind of did that, like in uh, uh, the Dragon Warrior games, you know, where you, you could use... It was more practical to use them there, but... Eh. Oh, okay, and there's a village of... I don't know how you pronounce that. Ranks? I'm going to assume it's ranks, like the Q is with a K sound, but... Well, there we go. There's one more door to go. Okay, well then, let's, I guess, make a pit stop on the way to Adele. I'm sure nothing special will happen there. But just so you know, we're at about the halfway point in the game. Yeah, I'd say about halfway. I'm really making a lot of progress in this LP. A lot faster than I thought I would, especially with uh, leaving all those random battles in. I guess, you know, I mean, it takes me about 20 hours to beat the game, according to the game clock here. And well, I figured, well, Chrono Trigger took me about the same. So, I thought it would only take me like 60 or 70 episodes. But we're already halfway through the game, practically. I like the clouds that they have in the background there. It's a nice touch. Kind of gives it a little more realism, you know? For such a graphically simplistic game. Let's head on over here first, before heading over to ranks. Whoa, why can I move so fast here? That's kind of odd. I heard there's, like, some add-on or patch that you could use to, uh... Oh, okay, what's the point of this place? I don't know. But yeah, I heard there's some kind of patch you could apply to the game 
that would allow you to run in caves all the time. But I figured, you know, let's keep it the way it was originally. Besides, you know, I mean, if I was running around in caves fast all the time, I would think that would make it pretty hard for me to edit out random battles because, you know, I, I would have less time between random battles that I'm editing out, you know? So, I'm okay with the speed that I'm walking in this game. It, it's alright. I mean, it's better than uh, sprint shoes in uh, Final Fantasy VI Advance. Holy cow! Those sprint shoes are like rocket shoes! From a rocket can! No, no. But, uh, yeah, we do want to rest up at the end while we're here. Sure. Sounds like a great idea. But, yeah, apparently there's no men at this village. Huh. Because, as we all know, every RPG has to have a village with no men in it. I just learned that in Crystallis. I was playing that with the, uh, Amazon village that they got going on there. But, anyway, there are some things that I do want to purchase here, but not too much. Because we're going to find a lot of stuff in the very near future. So, you know, I'm not going to buy too much. Uh, but I do want to get a bunch of stuff for uh, Adol there. Uh, let's see, Iron Hill? Yeah, that's a little better. And even though the spike shoes lower your defense a little bit, I think the attack power boost is more worth it. Because shoes really don't give you that much defense t total anyway. So, I'm not really worried about that. Let's see if we can get some more information here. Huh. What do you mean by that? Is this going to be an hour-long side quest? Let's find out. No. No. Um, oh, we got a power... Oh, why did I give that to him? I thought it was a spell potion. Well, whatever. He'll need it sooner or later, I guess, eventually, anyway. Oh, well, it's dangerous to go alone. How's it going? Oh, they just sell the same stuff. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess we have to solve their problem. Where's the cleric? Oh, can you save just as well? I wonder if she'd screw up, like, uncursing something. You know, just to kind of make it a little more surreal. No! Well, I liked that little village. You know, it's not, you know, a village that's incredibly important to the plot, or not really that important at all. You know, it's just a little pit stop, just a little village in the way to visit, explore, take a little break from the action, you know? I like that. I don't want to have every village be like that, like in Dragon Warrior 1, but, you know, it's a nice little change of pace. So let's see what's going on in their tunnel that they're having problems with here. I don't think there's any enemies here, but uh, there's a lot of people here. Huh. Well, it's, well, we got the warp spell, so we're fine. I'm sure they sell, uh, you know, swing wings at Odell. Huh. Danger ahead, huh? Well, danger's my middle name! I... Huh? What's going on? I, I can't walk forward. Well, to get through this part, you have to walk through in a very specific pattern. And I will show you... Oh, no, I screwed up. No, let's get out of here. Let's try that again. Okay. From here, walk this way. Walk this way! exactly this way. If you screw up, then you'll have to start over. Okay, there we go. Easy enough. But yeah, there's like invisible walls blocking your way. Kind of a weird little puzzle, but well, you take what you can get. Alright, we made it to Adele. Let's see what they got going on here. Oh, hey, can you cook up some stuff for me? Light, huh? Yeah, they did kind of mention that at the beginning of the game, but huh, well, I'll have to check that place out. Uh, let's see, do I need to rest up here? Nah, nah, we're fine. I rested up at, uh, ranks there. I think. I don't think I ran into, or I ran into one group of enemies, but anyway, as long as we're here, let's get some new stuff. Uh, let's see, I do want to purchase a new battle axe for, uh, eight all there, so let's grab that. Yeah, woo! Look at that attack power boost. I didn't expect it to be that much. Where's the armor shop? Huh. Village of Aris, huh? Huh, well that's weird. Why would they need four ways to get there? Yeah, it does seem like kind of nice weather they got going on here. Uh, let's see. Wanna get some stuff at the armor shop while we're here? 
Uh, let's see, I just want to get a kite shield for Aguro there because, well, he doesn't have one yet. So we have pretty much the best stuff we can buy right now, except for some stuff we're going to get in the very near future. So I'll list my recommended setup in the video description along with... Oh, I didn't expect that to leave me out of the village. Well, I'll, I'll list the recommended setup in the video description along with uh, any extra things that I want to hold on to. So, oh, there's some houses up here too. Well, there we go. And over here we can get an X potion. Awesome. And why don't I just loot your uh, X magic while I'm here? Huh. Well, there we go. Why should I? Oh, no. Let me guess. I'm going to have to fix it. Great. Ah, well, there we go. Well, I don't, I'm not, I don't worry, I don't care about your village of Aris or your bridges or anything. I just came here to find P Professor Shia. Okay, how's it going? Oh, well, yeah, I can kind of tell from the walls, but you got anything interesting here? No, no, just an item shop. Okay, well, I think that's uh, everything that I want to do here. But can I find Professor Shia in the castle? Or is he in another castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Lufia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.